Extra Life Controller is a new item in the XAML profile. Its main feature is double-way encrypted radio transmission, it stands out with its modern design and small dimensions. It integrates all system components for operation and configuration. These activities are carried out only by using the mobile application. The controller is dedicated to control the lighting, roller blinds, gates and other devices at home or in the office. The box contains the controller, power supply, necessary wiring and user manual. During a typical installation, the controller needs to be connected to a Wi-Fi router. On the first run it is best to enable the DHCP server on the router so that the controller can automatically obtain the IP address. In the rear part of the device there are all necessary connectors, reset button, and battery socket. First, the power cord and LAN cable connected to the controller, and then the controller is connected to the router. After powering up the controller it signals obtaining the IP address. The next step is the installation of the Extra Life mobile application, which is available for both Android and iOS. After successfully installing it, connect to the Wi-Fi router, working in the same subnet as the controller. The first start of the application will display the login screen. To log in, use the default username and default password. After pressing the button Login and Correct Login, will be redirected to the main application window. The next step is to register devices. Receivers that are to be registered in the controller must be powered. In order to pair the receivers, enter the receivers menu and press the plus button. All previously unpaired receivers in the range of the controller should appear on the list. After selection, they should be paired. After this operation they can be fully controlled from the application level. names could be changed freely, assigning an icon, and make further, detailed configuration, such as remote adding of transmitters, assigning to users, and categories. In order to register transmitters, go to the transmitters menu. Press the plus button and then press the next buttons of the selected transmitters. After pairing, the transmitters are visible in the application. In a similar way in the application the built-in sensors are registered, for example, transmitters, RNK22 and RNK24. This requires that the transmitter button is pressed five times during the search process. All registered devices, that is the receiver and the transmitter and sensors after registration are already stored in the controller and ready for further use.